Sup everybody, Logan here, Stock Investor, aka Crypto Investor, back with another video. Today we're going over the Yofun Nushi token. Ticker symbol is K-O-Y-O, Koyo. Uh, this token just got listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko today. Uh, according to CoinGecko, it's up 12% right now. We're going to go over the information on this token and how you can get it in just one second. But before we do that, just quickly, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy this token or anything like that. This is strictly just information. Take it with a grain of salt. Always do your own research first before investing in anything, especially crypto, because crypto can be very volatile. Also, there is a ton of referral codes down there in the description box. Have a look at those. Best referral codes for the best crypto apps. You can get yourself free money, free rewards, free crypto, things like that. Just by using those referral codes down there and funding your account. It's real simple. Referral codes benefit both of us. So check them out in the description box. And let's get into this token here. So it says on CoinGecko, uh, this is a story of a supreme sacrifice of Tokoyo and the slaying of the dragon that has cast a curse all over cryptocurrency. So, in a nutshell, that's what this token is, according to CoinGecko. You can find the price chart, contract address, all that listed on CoinGecko. They also have a Twitter, Telegram, Medium articles, Etherscan. Their webpage is tokoyo.org. Uh, so, this is an Ethereum token. So, basically, if you wanted to buy this token, you would fund your trust wallet or your MetaMask wallet with Ethereum. You would go into the dApps, you would find uh, Uniswap, and you would trade your Ethereum for the uh, the Yofun Nushi token using the contract address that you could find on their Etherscan, on CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, their webpage. Just make sure you have the right contract address. You might have to set slippage if that's in the tokenomics. And uh, just be aware there is going to be network fees and gas fees when buying tokens off of Uniswap. So right now they have 458 holders according to their Etherscan, 6,029 transfers, 18 decimal places. Uh, there is a max total supply of 30 billion tokens and uh, a little bit more than 30 billion tokens and some change there. And yeah, so their webpage, uh, not a ton of info on their webpage. It looks like they have a lot of the info is on their Medium articles that you could check out. You could also ask questions, of course, in their socials like their Telegram and their Twitter. Their Twitter is at Yofun underscore Nushi. They just joined in September 2022. Very brand new project. 471 Twitter followers, 21 tweets so far. Um, so yeah, not a, uh, not a whole ton of tweets or info yet. So very brand new stages here in the, uh, for this token. So it says the dragon slayer. This is a story of a supreme sacrifice of Tokoyo and the slaying of the dragon that has cast a curse all over cryptocurrency. Hojo uh, Takatoki looked after a land of opportunity, a ruling uh, regent of the Crypto uh, shogunate responsible for governing without favor. He gave the people magical means of generating wealth, monuments, and statues that were erected in his name and embellished with the sweet, sweetest perfumes. As time went on, he realized the extent of what he has unleashed, and as in normal, the hero was cast aside and cursed. Uh, a mysterious sea dr uh, creature was born alongside one who resided in the dark depths of the ocean with only a statue of Takatoki for company. A dragon most foul, a monster of epic proportions, a killer of uh, the space, devouring project after project, misusing Takatoki's name to the hilt and corrupting community after community into chasing nothingness. Now, there's a lot of these tokens out. They're kind of like meme tokens. They're like Asian stories, basically. Uh, some of them are from like Japan. Some are from China. Some are from Korea, I noticed. All different ones. Uh, there's a lot of uh, Korean ones. You know, some of them get listed on MEXC Global. Um, and uh, they basically, instead of being like a, you know, a dog meme token and it just has a, pit, a story about Elon and dogs and whatever, 
Uh, they're just Asian stories, you know, about dragons or mythical things like this. And so this is like maybe the 10th or 15th token I've gone through that basically the only info is like stories, like like uh, you're listening to fables. So it says, hiding behind the statue, Yofun Nushi caused great strife and misery to anyone who dared to swim in the sea of cryptocurrency. The only way to survive, stay afloat, or cross the poison waters was by satisfying this insatiable greed for ill-gotten gains. The people, uh, they do not know the dragon they worship is a is but fleecing them uh, of their meager belongings while having the them meditate blissfully unaware of undersea shenanigans. A smokescreen designed to take them uh, what is right from what is right, rightfully theirs. His only aim is to spew venom across the space and ensure that only he and his brethren have a seat at the high table. Uh, Takoyo is now here to undertake the supreme sacrifice and defeat the dragon at his own game. The people shall come to their senses and unite to destroy this monster and his army of vile creatures under the sea. It is easy to draw references to who is who, the ones who do not find solace and respite in siding with. Takoyo, enter the Dragon Slayer. So that's basically the story of this token here. Uh, they have another Medium article that uh, basically goes into a whole other story as well. We don't need to go over that. Uh, but it does have some uh, interesting stuff here. It says 500k market cap is... Uh, they're talking about that so in the story, so it looks like they do have a 500k market cap. Uh, but besides that, I don't see any other information in the second story here talking about Coin Gecko and Coin Market Cap, but they've already got those listings. So uh, yeah, besides that, I mean, on their web page, uh, they don't have a lot of info either. It just says. Uh, the sequence ends. The sequence ends. To understand Takoyo, you will need to take a trip down memory lane. Talks about Satoshi mines the first Bitcoin. Gavin visits the CIA. Satoshi disappears. Mount Gox happens. Bitcoin goes mainstream. On 30th of July, Ethereum network goes live. Uh, the dog era. Uh, Ka and before this, many other clones from the Dragon's Lair. The dragon strikes again, and then they're talking about the uh, Deji Taro Tezuka token, which is a similar one to this one. And so that one involves a dragon, and then now this coin, it says, enter the dragon slayer. So it says, we become predators, we don't train the dragon, we slay it. Whatever Takoyo becomes with uh, will be a reminder for one and all that is this space is more than just a meme or LARP. They had their time, now it's yours. So basically, a lot of these tokens with the Asian stories, they're kind of copying the uh, Deji Teru uh, Tsuka token, which got super popular. And so they're all, you know, just like the dog coin comes out and there's 100 dog coins, now there's 100 coins like this coming out. So check this one out anyways. Uh, you can find it on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. K-O-Y-O is the ticker symbol. Brand new listings. I'm not a financial advisor, so why don't you guys let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this token. Do you think this is a good investment or not? Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe for daily crypto videos where I go over the newest coins and tokens and what their utility and info is. And check out all the referral codes down there in the description box. Get yourself some free crypto. Thanks for watching, everybody. Y'all have a great day out there. Peace out.